a short history of where the pubs came from and how we got to where we are before asking Ainsley to cut the ribbon. Ainsley wearing the hat representative of the St Denisters, but of course, who were a political party some years ago, <laughs> demanded many things, including rights of frottage. Look it up, I had to. <laughs> now, the, this started off around, sometime in the 19, uh, sorry, 1860s, as the Wareham Arms. At some point in the future, its name was changed to the Junction Inn. The Junction being correctly identified by the new sign as the Railway Junction, because it was a pub for all the railway workers, which is a large part of why St. Denny's was built, not a road junction. I started drinking in here about 35 years ago. So for those of you who can work out how old I am, that was a little bit before I should have done. <laughs> first landlady I remember was Doris. It's a good old Yay. traditional pub. <coughs> there were a few landlords after that and then we got to Mike Hendricks. Yay. Mike Hendricks was going to be here today to jointly cut the ribbon with Ainsley. Sadly he's had some treatment in hospital and he can't make it uh, but I'm sure we'll see him soon. What Mike did when he was here is he went against the trend of the time which was a headlong rush towards keg beer loud music and, and pubs for teenagers. He knew this pub for what it was, a local pub where people wanted good beer and a range of customers. And he had high professional standards, which is the secret. After that, there were quite a few landlords, some of them good, some of them not so good. And as Martin pointed out, around about the time the pub changed from Marston's to Green King, uh, there was a rumor that it was all gonna be ripped out and turned into a one bar pub. In fairness, that rumour was never in any way substantiated, but to protect the Victorian nature of the pub, uh, we got it listed. Things after that were varying. We had some fairly spectacularly bad licensees. I think it, it, I think it probably came to a head in time when those of us who were drinking here were privileged to see the landlord of the pub take the tray of money out of the till and throw it out at his relatives. And we were able to watch drunk people having an intellectual battle with themselves, trying to hit each other at the same time as pick up as much money as they could. That really was pretty much a low point. The place was dirty, loud music, the beer was awful, and frankly, most of us left. Then Dawn and Martin came along. And by God, did they turn it round. Dawn, someone hugely experienced in the licensed trade, very high professional standards. Martin coming from an entirely different uh, professional background, but he took to it like a duck to water. And so how do they run the pub? Well, you know how they run the pub. It's clean, it's friendly, it's good food, it's well kept beer. It's all the basics, but they know how to do it, and they do it exceptionally well. And we had a fire. Now I know for a fact grown men cried after that fire, wondering whether this pub would open again or not. And Green King, and I'll criticise Green King when I feel like it, and I've done in the past, but the phrase where it's due, Green King didn't do this half measure. They put a huge amount of financial commitment and resources into bringing this pub back up the standard, working closely with the English heritage people and the, uh, uh, the officials of the council. So what's going to happen when you go in the door? It's had a complete refurbishment. I think the best way to describe it, refurbishment, not change, refurbishment. But things have changed. It's different, but it's the same. You'll look at things and think, well that's not quite how it was, but it's definitely still the junction. And the junction as it should be. <coughs> Local for everyone to drink in. We have people drinking in there, we have professors, Builders, cleaners, drivers, all drinking in there. They don't talk to each other like, but at least they all drink in there. Our pub is back. I'm now going to ask Ainsley, a local of long standing and a very experienced professional photographer, and you'll see his photographs here and a good few in there as well. Ainsley is going to cut the ribbon for us. Thank you.